Hey everyone, Aether here, and today we're going to be looking at my farming rotation for dredge leather and rubbery flank. Rubbery flank sells for quite a lot on my server. Um, I know that it can fluctuate and vary quite a bit depending on, on population, but here it's somewhere between 20 and 40 gold per piece, which is a lot of gold. And it drops quite a lot if you farm it specifically. So, we are in Naz Tajar, and just south of Kalmathir, there are these uh, ruined buildings. I'm sure you've walked past these before. This is also at the very western uh, proximity edge of quite a popular farm for flank, which goes all the way around here. However, I found that this little loop around these um, mines you can farm indefinitely and everything will respawn pretty much by the time you get round so you can permanently farm here i've not really run into much competition which is fantastic uh, i do have my pvp on though for most of my outdoor farming expeditions so your mileage may vary if you have pvp off so without further ado, let's have a quick rundown of the loop. So I always start here, don't know why, I just like this little area. We run through, the elites are the main focus because they give a significant amount of um, flanks. And while, you know, leather is a nice commodity, um, Leather doesn't sell too well on my server, so it's more of like a, a nice little byproduct of the farm. Ironically, doing this video, I only got two flanks on, on that with two elites. Oh, also, uh, the little smaller mobs, don't bother skinning them. I have yet to receive anything that wasn't just a grey trash item, and I, I don't think it's worth the time, to be honest. And now you drop down here. Then obviously, depending on your gear and class, you can do some kind of crazy pulls. I don't do anything too extravagant. Uh, my, my gear isn't the best. It's about four, four, eight. My best hourly amount of flank drops uh, has been just short of 900 which is a fantastic amount of money. And I quite often get well over 1100 leather drops. So for the rest of the loop, I'm just gonna run it. So you're not just watching me farm because that's not interesting and you don't need to see me do that. So you can run around here, take these, and then take these and, and pull these ones here. I'd say AOE, like this whole thing down if you can. Then you run up here. And you take these, there's an elite here, you can take that one there, grab these, AOE that down, pull that one up here, pull that one up here and kind of avoid, well not avoid, but don't focus on these little ones. Run around, grab this one in here. Jump down, and come all the way around. And then you're back at the beginning. And that is literally it. It is an awesome place to farm. If you do see people here, don't panic too much because people are questing or whatever. Um, I've only seen one person look like they were actually farming this area on purpose. One person. And I'm on a high pop server, so... Again, your, your mileage may vary, but I think it's a fantastic place to farm. And if your auction house can support it, you can make a significant amount of gold, which is awesome. And that's all there is to it. Thank you very much for watching. If you are interested in seeing some more gold making guys, please consider giving me a follow. And if you'd like to watch me live, try and earn some gold and maybe do a little bit of PvP on the side, please uh, consider following me on Twitch at Aetherflask. Thank you very much and hope you have a lovely rest of the day.